So today's segment is on how to mix and match home office essentials. I'm gonna do this old visual diary style. So one minute clips, and we're answering a question from two peeps, thanks for submitting, about how to have compassion for yourself and other. And the way that I'm interpreting this question is basically like, what are the practical IRL ways you can take care of self and other? I think it's a great question to ask, especially right now. So preemptively, I put a bunch of diagrams up and we're gonna, hold on. I got really excited and I gotta let this go through me because it's not up to this. <laughs> All right, ready? So I think the first concept to consider is this diagram at the bottom. Can you see it? It's an arrow four different directions if you are looking laterally too much it usually means that you are not looking forward or within so what can you do in that in that respect i think that takes us to this thing around wholeness there might be work for you to do around making it okay for you to take care of yourself first or make it okay for you to see elements of yourself that you haven't been willing to see before. So the way that I approach everything is basically from inside out. Over here we have a guy with what looks like a pot on his head and an arrow to N, P, and an L that I didn't do the right way. And that's saying that through you, like the whole adage of like, you don't see things as they are, you see things as you are. As far as I can tell, it's like some of the most fucking true shit. So when you see other people and it's agitating to you, usually it's a mirror. And so when we're talking about other people and having compassion for them, um, one of the questions was like, what about if you're like awake and the other person is not? I think it's really important to consider that perhaps they are showing you the opportunity to accept yourself prior to your own awakening. So perhaps you still feel some type of way, maybe a bare, um, unprocessed shame or guilt or you're embarrassed about behaving the way that you did while you were asleep. You see? So the first thing then, compassion for others is actually forgiveness for self. Plot twist. <laughs> the other thing to consider when you're looking laterally is that there is information on projections, which to me and my language and my world means the expectations that you expect, that you have about the way the world works and what you expect to experience personally. And so for example, if you grew up in a, um, let's say an impoverished situation, whether that was impoverished in love or attention or money, you expect at a very deep level that to be part of the human experience but it's not, it's just part of yours. So what do you do to use that? So back to other people, you might be projecting that other people don't understand you or can't meet you where you are. Oh, fuck. So what do you do there? Well, you look for examples to kind of like bust the mind or update it to what's actually true and real by looking for examples where maybe that's not true. So to recap, We've said that if you are looking too much side to side, perhaps it's time for you to look within. Because if you're also not looking ahead, that's probably time for you to look within. If we're not growing forward, it's probably because we don't trust ourselves or big self, which is everything, to support us in that motion forward. So we're afraid. So in all instances, I say default within. And then you can use the information you see outside to check if there's any part of yourself you need to accept or forgive if there's any belief you have that's limited that you can update. <laughs> I will say for self, I spent time not thinking anyone could love me or understand me. When people did, I just couldn't see it, you know? And so then I start to look for where that's not true. So when you say something to yourself, ask, is that true the whole way around? Is that true across the board? So let's say you've done all of that and you, and you feel pretty like forward, forward moving and you're cool with what's there. Well then, this is the awesome part. When you are connected to all that is and you are trusting, 
this is a little piece of mail, you get information about what to do real time. What's that? Okay. And you don't have to think about what to do. You just do it. So it's kind of like feeling uh, the music and like dancing to it. And I think the best example, and I'm taking this from Psycho-Cybernetics, is that of throwing like a ball to someone else. You don't sit down and say, but first, let me calculate the distance in the wind and blah, 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 blah. You just look and your body knows. So if you are at peace with yourself, then you're taking in all the information you need to act in accordance with what is required. Thank God I stopped trying to write this up top because I would have never said that shit. <laughs> all right, the last piece I think that's helpful to consider is from a logical standpoint, if you still feel like you need to do something, consider the concept of entrainment. So here I have a scale representing frequency. The best thing you could ever fucking do if you want to contribute is feel good. Ah, because if your vibration is positive and you're strong in it and you trust you to keep it, then the weaker vibrations that are based in fear around you, like a tune. So if, if you're not going down, they're going up. And not only that, you gotta check my signs on that. I think that's true, but. <laughs> not only that, when you help someone, are you really helping them? So let's say that somebody is not emotionally intelligent and you're like, don't worry, bro. I'll meet you where you are. Talk to me about shit that doesn't make sense so I can feel bad for you. <laughs> you think that helps, but actually you are artificially supporting that level when what you could do if you really wanted to help and if you really love them was not play the game so that they have the opportunity to grow forward. This is a bitch in practice to receive and to delegate at times, but there is no other way. Furthermore, it is personal inspiration that leads. Everybody is uniquely guided and they can get their own mail. In fact, they should only get their own mail. So if you are leading through example, then you inspire them. And that to me is the best help. Done.